Hello my friends and welcome back to my craft space. I was asked to do a tutorial on this little shaker coin pocket that I made for my mini pocket letter that I shared last week I think it was. Um, so I'm going to show you how I did this really quickly. I was inspired to do this by Megan from Little Hot Tamale and if you go to her channel which I will leave a link to in the description box below she has a template download, PDF download, um, for the coin envelope that I used. She has a small and a large, and this is the small one. All you need to do for this is you uh, cut the template out, and you trace it on your paper and cut it out, and then you can do any shape you want in the middle. Like for this one, I just took a die cut and traced around it and then cut it out. On this one, I went ahead and just ran it through my die cut machine with an oval die cut. Um, I know Megan on hers, she freehanded a heart and then just cut it out with craft knife. So there's really no limit to what you can do, what kind of shape you can put on this. And it's super easy to do. I forgot to get a piece of plastic to show you how to do this, but uh, you just need a piece of plastic for from um, like a uh, oh I can't even think um, oh here we go one of these things <laughs> can't even think uh, or you can use a um, piece of plastic from a page protector you just need a small piece you want to make sure it does cover your hole and then you're going to need a piece of tool to also cover your hole which again I don't have I am not prepared I'm trying to get this done before my kids come home but you're just going to layer your tool I have this one that I'm going to show you here in a second you layer your tool your plastic your tool and your template. So I'm going to do it without the tool for right now just so you, I can show you what you do. So you would have a piece of tool on top of the plastic. I am using a um, needle felting block here but anything that you can poke into will work just fine. A piece of styrofoam or whatever. And then you're going to put your template on top of your little sandwich there. Then you're going to need a sharp tool I'm using a paper piercing tool, but you could use a needle or anything similar, a sculpting tool, anything like that. And then I apologize, you're not going to be able to see too well. Um, but you're just going to poke a hole, and you're just going to go all the way around your shape as evenly as possible. poking through all of your layers. And really, you don't need to be poking a hole in the tool. It's not really going to poke a hole, but you just want that layer there so when you go to sew them together, you don't have to line up your holes with your uh, piece of plastic. And this is super quick and easy. And once you get all of your holes, oops, it was not a pretty even, but once you get all your holes punched, you will have something that looks like that. Then all you're going to do is take some embroidery floss in whatever color you want and a needle. You want to start on the side, make a knot in your thread, and you're just going to come up from the bottom. I like to do it on the back because it's easier to see. You're going to come up from the bottom and you're going to do a back stitch. Uh, Megan has a really good tutorial on how to do that. So check her out. Check out her video. Sorry, as I said, I'm trying to be quick because my kids are going to be coming home soon and I wanted to get this up. I meant to do it last week and I just did not have time. And once you get about halfway around or so, 
all you're going to do, uh-oh, I have a boo-boo. Right, anyway, <laughs> I went one too far. Once you get about halfway around, you're going to go ahead and put your sequin mix in. You're going to want to make sure that you separate the plastic from your tool. Excuse my arm there. And you're going to put your sequin mix in there like that. And then once and then you'll finish sewing it up with your back stitch. You definitely want to make sure that you have separated your plastic from your tool before you put it in there. Ask me how I know. And your finished product will look something like this. So thanks for watching. Bye.